All right, I should be back. Um, so, my computer froze while trying to do this earlier, and I had to restart everything, but I should be back now. At least OBS is telling me I'm back. So, we are here today to start Batman Arkham Asylum. And I'm just going to go ahead and just completely start this up. That way we don't get interrupted again. I love how it's an in continued story when it's not it barely even started. Oh, wait, what? Uh, this isn't it. Okay. That. That. Okay. I. We needed to. Start all over again. Come on. Okay, I just realized I can't see the chat room at all right now. Okay. Let me put the chat room into OBS so I can take a look at it. There we go. Yeah, my computer just completely froze. So, anyways. We're just going to go here to start the game. Continue. Alright. Hopefully we shouldn't have any more problems this time. Yeah, that was super weird. I have no idea why that happened. Because that's the first time that the game just completely froze like that. Or my whole entire computer froze, I had to just push down the power button on my laptop. I have no idea why or how that happened. So, I'm just going to leave it alone, let the pets in the run. Yeah, I think we It was under attack from Mr. Freeze. Because, so for those of you that are just now joining on the live stream. Stand back, fool, I've got a bomb! Huh? All right. <laughs> I played through like the first 30 minutes just to see if this game would work with the live stream and it is so now we're doing it properly this time but yes i haven't played this game in four years so i'm yes okay thank you I'm going to just turn the game down. Oh, Bowles! Yo, Frankie! How's the wife and kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown! <gasps> A lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> really? I don't mind walking. All right, just Not let so me know. Tight, I still have to adjust suit. everything. <laughs> yeah, because I've got the game down to negative five Boy, decibels. Something's not right. I'm going with him. All right. Is 
is Commissioner Gordon here. Yes, sir. He's uh, waiting for you down at patient handover. Uh, Turn it down some more. Him. Okay. Shabby loves it. All right, we're at, uh, it's down to minus 7.5 decibels. Hey, Sharpie, you getting my good side? Ah, but Nick, they're all good, aren't they? <laughs> I want him securely locked away this time. Another escape. Look at all this new security. How's a guy supposed to break out of here? New patient in the intensive treatment lobby. All non-essential staff oh. to vacate the area. Because I always find that to be the hardest thing to deal with is uh, uh, Sebastian. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the new Joker movie. I'm hearing extremely mixed reviews on it, but. I, I just I mean, you know I'm just really curious about it. Good old cavity search. Much more personal. Let's move this a bit closer. It's not the patient. It's. Ooh, would you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs, bat claws. Ooh, bat smacks. Scan is green on Joker. Open the gate. Get him out of there. Try minus 10. Okay, so this is me talking at my normal volume. Is this good? Let me know. Speaking of tick tock, tick tock. Is that a crocodile I hear? <laughs> What's up, Doc? Pencil me in for tomorrow at 4. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Keep behind me. Hello, new patient. This is Quincy Sharp. Ooh, nice I'm still quiet. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh. <laughs> All right. Okay, I moved it down to minus 10 decibels. <laughs> The state of the wiring in these several facilities is, well, it's shocking. My boys over there could have been hurt in that unfortunate fire. Just gotta check your prisoner, Officer Bowles. Whatever, just be quick. Only following procedure. Well, the patient seems to be in satisfactory condition. Looks like he's suffered minor lacerations probably in the last two hours. There seems to be... <laughs> Need to take my temperature? I'd be happy to drop my pants. He saw yours. Get him out of here. He's good. Get the door open. Alert in intensive treatment. Category 9 patient in transit. Classification system active. Shoot to kill permission granted. You heard the lady. We got another psycho on the way. How far can, can we go without being hit once? We will find Hello? out. Hmm. Must have been one of the guards then. Rocco boy! Yeah, Killer Croc, uh, his design was pretty terrifying in this game. Get ready. Keep your weapons trained on it at all times. Miss, welcome to the stream, Bunzy. What's it doing? Got your scent, Batman. I will hunt oh, you down. See, he doesn't give a fuck at all. Look at him. <laughs> a toy. What the hell? I did not pause the game. The fuck is going on? 
Okay. Stop me from killing you, Batman. Can rip you apart. Eat your bones. That reminds me. I really need to get me some new shoes. Okay, move up. What kind of shoes he has? Those are just some purple type of dress shoes. <clears throat> Speaking of shoes, okay, I can't see Batman's shoes. How come they let Batman kind of. pass security? Wee! Great night for a party! Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Bats. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. All right, we've got I ten mean, viewers you here. Welcome. Funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay quiet. Oh, Frankie, you really should learn to keep that fat mouth of yours shut. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Oh, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain. So I learned after oh, reading the uh, Sefton Hill uh, oh, that Sefton Hill, the director of this game, he was actually the one responsible the for that horrible uh, <laughs> Kill the Justice League game. <laughs> Which is quite a shame. Because I thought that, that this was the publisher telling him this is what you should be making, but it was him this entire time. You trust me? Our best. But I really hope the next ride. Rocksteady game, I just want something in scale that's similar to this. I'm tired of open world games. I just want to go back so, to these linear games. You killed three of my crew when you busted out of here. Only or three? I I'm like sure the way next time. that uh, we Naughty Dog it? does it, where they have some parts where it's a linear game, but there's still some areas that are still semi-open. Long night, Jim. <laughs> Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage, leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, right. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> hey, I just heard a noise. I think he's noise. talking about you, Bats. Don't be a Was stranger. that a new subscriber? You're always welcome here. I can't Gotta really say, see right now at the moment. <laughs> you but okay? He's whoever it was. Without a fight. I don't oh, like the it. game is still way At too loud? Man. Okay, uh... Get up. Now. <laughs> Joker's loot. Um, let me see. Just normally not way too loud? Just normally too loud? Okay. All right. You know, for Halloween, I was, I was thinking about. Uh, all right, here we go. How long can I go without getting hit? Bam! Ten hit combo. Back in business. <laughs> CM, this is Arkham Asylum, the one that started that started it all that proved that superhero games don't all have to be a stupid movie tie-in. Don't 
I just love how when you press the ground takedown button, he will just fly to the other enemy no matter how- Oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, we got it. Okay, I did not get hit. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely, Logan. I agree with you. Mark Hamill is the greatest Joker voice ever. It will never be top, just like Joker's Michael Jordan. I'll find a way out. Gordon, try and contact the warden. Let him know what's happened. All right, so how's the game audio um, with my voice? Every You can hear everything evenly now? If you think I'll let you run. Oh, whoops. Forgot about that Riddler trophy. Yep, and if we look here. Oh, whoops, never mind. No, it's a trap. Of course it is. I mean, the game dialogue is still drowning me out. Wow. Okay. Man, I'm just always curious how people figure this stuff out. Like when I watch YouTube playthroughs of this of any game that i like to watch it's like they always get it down perfectly to a science all right we're down okay i have it the level down by negative 14 decibels and my microphone is negative 1.5 decibels it's all trial and error yeah makes sense and of course yep that's gordon i'm really curious who's gonna play gordon in james gunn's dcu because I really like Jeffrey Wright. He's he was great in the Batman. So for those of you that are wondering, yes, I did play this game when it was brand new, but I haven't played this game from start to finish uh in a in a while. Like I remember playing this in like maybe 2015 or 2014. Uh, but I've but then I just stopped halfway through or something else came out at that time. But and by the way, guys, this is pretty much me just waking up from a coma when it comes to video games, because like like I mentioned before, I have I haven't seen the Batman. Uh, blah, 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 sorry, I haven't seen. And tr OK, just trying to talk by yourself um is already hard enough but then trying to do it while playing the a video game at the same time especially since i haven't done it in quite a few months it's 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 a practice like you just it's like muscle memory getting used to riding a bike again so i am very rough with it right now but i'm pretty sure the further along we get through this game i'll be much better and my biggest pet peeve is looking stupid and getting lost in games, and it's happening once again right now. Even though I just played this last night and went through this section just to make sure everything works, recording it in OBS. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we just had to keep going through the grate. Uh, now, oh, is this only here just for the Riddler trophy? Yeah. Oh yes, yes, absolutely, Kevin Conroy. Is the greatest Batman of all time. Whenever I read a Batman comic, Batman's dialogue, I hear Kevin Conroy's voice as I'm reading it. No, that's just Jim. Okay, where the? Oh man, this is what happens, folks, when you start turning thirty. All the stuff that you could just zoom through, like it's nothing, when you're, when you're. Uh, when you're 15, when this game came... Man, I just realized this game is 15 years old. Goodness me, where does the time go? No, that's going to kill... Oh, it was just through there. This entire time I thought that was like some poison gas. Hey, Alec, welcome. Joker's been busy. These poor guards never stop. Oh, it. I am so dumb. Hang on, give me one second. Let me pause the recording. All right, back on the recording. So... Yeah, I just had to take care of some things in OBS, guys, but back on the recording, let's continue. All patients should take their medication at the prescribed times each and every day. Prescri I love how he runs the same way that Val Kilmer and George Clooney ran at that very last shot in Batman Forever and Batman and Robin when they're just running towards the camera. Oh, 
All right, we got a security breach. Oracle. 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 I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Oracle or Barbara, like, one reason why I always say that redheads and blondes are what I'm attracted to the most. Uh, but anyways, a cool thing here. Oh, Jesus, Logan, you're just hitting me right there with a tough one. Another Batman question. Rank every live-action Batman from worst to best. I would say... Best live-action Batman, number one, would be Christian Bale. Number two... Number... Yeah, yeah, it's so crazy how it's like one year later and I'm back in the same situation again, but it just fucking sucks that life ha happens like that but if anything it's making me realize i need to double down on youtube because you know i love uber driving and i'm grateful for it but i can't even do that right now but hopefully or not hopefully because that's saying that you're speaking not speaking in the present tense like you have it but i'll have the money to be able to get a car hopefully a toyota camry so it so i don't have to worry about the damn thing breaking apart but anyways we're gonna keep going yeah yeah this time last year i was playing spider-man 2 yep that's right that's right uh but anyways oracle yes this is how i first learned about barbara gordon um because the what's going on why is the come on now yes we all know who oracle is yeah, see, I, I shouldn't even be bothering looking at the character bios. Joker's escaped custody. He's running free in Arkham. So do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. Thank God. It's Zaz. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz has totally lost it. Wait here. Blake you plays says good to see you back, man. Thank you. He won't see me. Uh, and yeah, this game was Anything my first introduction to Victor Zaz. Bit like a bat. And this guard I actually bats. liked his portrayal <laughs> in Look at the pig. I liked his portrayal in uh Oh, Jesus. In uh, the in the Go on the on, in Gotham, the Fox series, and I know lots of people hated that show, uh, but I almost, in some ways, I like to think of Gotham as like a prequel to the Joel Schumacher movies. If you look at it from that sense, it becomes a a bit more enjoyable that way. <clears throat> Lucas asking, "What do you think of Arkham Knight? I love it." I love it. I know some people say it's just a, a, a stupid tank game, but I I mean, I look at it like I'm an Uber driver, right? So Batman would be driving the Batmobile a lot of the time. So on the ground, so I'll stay up high. Yes, let's uh, talk to this guard. Zaz has got my buddy. He's gonna fry him. Do something. True Please. horror binge is saying the man, the myth, I need to get behind and a bunch of fire I can <laughs> These old gargoyles should be able to support my weight if I grapple up to them. I always find it funny though. <clears throat> how the Batman always has the gargoyles. Like, there's just conveniently so many of them placed around Gotham. But I just read... Zaz is down, but not for long. Got to get close and take him out. I just read that article uh, from Someone Forbes from Jason Schreier where he talks about what went wrong with the Unalive Squad game, and it's just heartbreaking to see this amazing studio fall 
from Grace like that. <laughs> Uh, Andy Deep, no, I'm playing this on the PC, on my laptop. Just with a wired Xbox One controller. Old Sharp has never been happier. In case you ain't figured it out, today is the Joker's big homecoming, and you're the guest of honor. You have one chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting path, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Well, technically, the Joker's goons shipped him from Black Cape, but you get Yep, R.I.P. Arlene Sorkin. So, her and and Kevin Conroy are gone now. <clears throat> Luca, who's the best Joker? That would be Mark Hamill. The security system. He's probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police feeds are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Says he'll detonate them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? You know, I know. for all of Batman's tech, it's kind of funny that he needs to hold his hand, needs to like hold his ear just to hear people talking to him. In this chamber, she never was very bright. But you know. I saw Mark Hamill say, I will never voice the Joker ever again. And it made sense. Makes sense because he always said, I uh, like the times, because there's very few times where he voices the Joker and Kevin Conroy is not Batman. So he always thought of it like a package deal. Like, I only want to do it if Kevin Conroy is Batman. But I mean, 30 plus years of him voicing Joker, what an incredible run that was. And if you guys didn't know, Mark Hamill was also the trickster on The Flash. Both in the 1990 show and on the CW show. Yep, they're trapped, but I'll save them. What is that stuff? You know what? Hang on. Listen. The room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them, Batman? I've got this. Heh! I was just trying to do a Kevin Conroy impression. Don't worry. I'll stop them. <laughs> Maybe I should just speak lower like that for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh. This isn't a simple escape attempt. Joker's been planning this. Please help me! You're gonna be fine. Stay here. Because the thing I always loved about Kevin Conroy's Batman voice is it just sounds natural. It doesn't sound forced like, you know, the Christian Bale one. You no, know, the one where he Batman says, here. Where are the other drugs going? Like, I can't. Like, that's just too much. So, I actually like that Robert Pattinson Batman. just... His Batman voice is... It, like, it doesn't... It sounds like he's changing his voice, but it's not ridiculous. Yes, naturally deep, clean, and crisp. Yeah. I can't believe he left me here. I love how he picks him up just to hit him. Like he says, Don't worry, sir. I'll pick you up. Just to beat the shit out of you. Because <laughs> that's the craziest thing about Batman. Because really, if we, wa if, we wa if we want to be really honest, I think Batman is worse than the Punisher. Because the Punisher puts the criminals, at least, you know, he makes sure he doesn't get back up. But with Batman, all he does is give them permanent brain damage or leaves them in a coma for the rest of their life, best case scenario. 
There's the extractor control point. A well aimed battery. I'm already ahead of that. <clears throat> so yeah, let me go guys, let me know how the audio is. Like, can you hear the game fine? Is the game quiet? Am is my microphone too loud? Let me know. I always also love how he just has unlimited batarangs in his in his uh, in his in his utility belt because trying to imagine Batman in real life like he could probably only have maybe five of them I'm not sure uh, Logan says everything is fine yes Troy Baker's great too you know Troy Baker has done the voice of he has voiced. Batman, the Joker, and Two-Face. What an incredible talent he is. Audio is good now, boss? All right, thanks, Puff Puff. I'm going to make sure to remember these settings in OBS for the audio levels. Okay. So, um, where do I go from here? Hello? Hello? Someone please respond! Joker has escaped and is en route to the security transfer room! Nope. Okay, not this way. What's wrong with this thing? Hello? Could you imagine if Cat Williams was Batman? He was like, Come over here, Joker! Go fuck yourself! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> okay, that... Okay, I... I gotta work on that some more. That was awful. If you want to hear the greatest Cat Williams impression, just listen to the comedian Dan Soder. He is incredible at it. He also does a really good Macho Man Randy Savage impression, too. Sarah, welcome to the live stream. Oh, yeah, okay, let me try using that phrase. As a Cat Williams as Batman. Somebody gonna get their wig split, beat him up, beat him up, break his neck. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's getting better or worse. I feel like I'm, I can do a better Kevin Conroy impression than a Cat Williams impression. If you spam roll, it's legit very funny. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. I will find him! Just not yet. That's a Zod reference. <laughs> He's a big mm. Do you remember this? Pepperidge Farm remembers this giant. No need to worry. I'll stop this purse. Oh, fuck. All right. Time to get into focusing. That's what my Kevin Conroy sounds like at this current moment. Never attempted to impersonate him before. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's the first time I got hit. Mm. Damn it.
I thought that you're just supposed to throw a battering at him. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was kind of a delayed response there. Well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? Oh, well, note to self, need stronger test subjects. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting too predictable, Bats. Well, I'd love to stay in the chat, but I have a party to organize. I've got guests flying in from all over Arkham. You'll see. <laughs> Come. Okay, our very first upgrade. <clears throat> uh, combo battering. The, I always felt like the the. Uh, Critical combo strikes were always essential. I'll just get this one first. You know what? Instead of really trying to think of phrases Batman would say as Kevin Conroy, I should just try to sound like him speaking normally. <clears throat> Critical combo strikes. Doubles the power of normal combo strikes when strikes are timed perfectly. Increases combo score by, by two times for each strike, allowing for quicker activation of special combo moves. Alright, that was my first attempt. <clears throat> Between music, movies, and video games, you can only pick one for the rest of your life. Well, I really hope that I would never, ever have to do that. But if I could only pick one, then that it would be music. Because I feel like the thing that makes me feel like myself is my love for the combination of all three of those music, movies, and video games. And we should also add comedy in there as well, because I watch so many comedy podcasts, so much stand-up comedy. I, Yeah, there's just all of those things. All right. You know, I feel like uh, for the YouTube uploads, this would be a good uh, stopping point for the... Not for the stream, because I'm going to keep going on, but if you're watching this uh, video on YouTube, uh, we'll see you on the next part.